So a lot of people come to me and they ask me, like, what's the basics of Illustrator? Like, I don't understand it. I'm not a good drawer or anything like that. Do I have to learn how to draw to make t-shirts and stuff like that? But really, you don't. You don't really need that stuff. You only just need three. Just three basic tools in Illustrator, and you'll be on your way to making some pretty cool t-shirt designs. So like I said in the intro, there's about three of them, just three of them that you need to pretty much get yourself going as far as like t-shirt designs and illustrator. And I'm just going to be honest with you, the shape builder tool is the first one. And basically what the shape builder tool does is it just eliminates lines for you. So you can build out shapes and you can just eliminate it. And that's kind of like layer masking or whatnot in Photoshop. You don't even have to do that here. Like you could just shape build and, and that gives you the opportunity to create different things because let's just be honest, a lot of us can't draw. I mean, I can draw just a little bit, but... A lot of us really can't draw and building out your own shapes gives you the freedom to make whatever you want and be just as creative as somebody that's drawing so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here in the illustrator and i want to show you guys the basics of the shape builder tool so basically i'm just going to go ahead and create an eye so i'm just going to do something a little bit like this and we'll stretch it down here a little bit like that i think that's pretty cool and in doing this i want to go ahead and take out the fill so i'm just going to go ahead and take the fill out that just leaves the strokes so i could just come up here to the top and just increase the strokes Maybe something like this. And I want the strokes to be in the inside. Okay, cool. So we got that now. So what I want to do is just hit Command C and then Command F. And I want to like scale this one down just a little bit like this. Except with this one, I want to go ahead and pull out the sides like this. Okay, so now we kind of made like this eye thing. And I can kind of just fix this out. Maybe make it a little bit wider, a little bit like this. Because I think this is pretty cool. So we have this eye thingy right here. And let's just say we want to go ahead and put like a circle in here like this. And then we can take this same circle. We can hit Command C and then Command F. And then just kind of scale it out a little bit like this. And then we can do it again. Command F and then scale it in like this. And that looks pretty cool, right? So this is where the shape builder comes in. Because like we don't want these overlapping circles to be seen, right? Like this is... You know, it looks good like this, but maybe we don't want these overlapping circles to be seen. So we're going to go to the Shape Builder tool. Selecting the actual layer, we're going to use the Shape Builder tool to knock out these lines. So let's just say I don't want this right here. We could just go ahead and hold down Alter Option, hold it down. Like you actually have to hold it down and then click out that line and boom, there it goes. Shape Builder. Let's say we want to get this one down here at the bottom. We just go ahead and hold down Alter Option, click on it, boom, it's gone. Now I want to throw you guys kind of like a loop, right? Like... If I take the shape builder tool and I try to delete out one of these lines, what happened? Like we wanted that eye to still be there. Like what happened? You know, like that's that's unacceptable. Same thing if we tried this down here, like, you know, this is what's going to happen. What you want to do is you want to go into object path, outline the strokes. And as you see, when I go ahead and highlight all of this, there's these little lines in between these paths. So like you see this little box here that wasn't there because it was a, a stroke at first. Now it's like an actual object that we can just kind of mess around with. So I can take the shape builder tool and I can delete these lines. Like you see this line as I hover over it, it gets selected. If I hold down alter option with the shape builder tool, I can just delete that. Now here's another trick that you want to use with the shape builder tool. So you don't have to just click on these lines or whatnot. You can hold down alter option and you can draw with it as well. And that eliminates those lines essentially. So we could just do something like that. And this is what we get. And I think that's kind of cool. Now here's the second technique to go with this. Now we have this and it's still kind of like a live shape or whatnot. And that's kind of cool or whatnot, but we want this shape to be put together well, okay? We don't want the lines to be, you know, if we go in and try to make any type of manipulations to this, we don't want it to be accidentally moved and deleted and all that stuff. So what we want to do is we want to highlight all of this, open up like window, go down to Pathfinder, Okay, click on Pathfinder. Mine's is already up. But with the Pathfinder, all you have to do is click to unite all of these. And this becomes one shape. And that becomes the basics of the Shape Builder tool. Like, you want to be able to do that. Now, with this, we can do other things. Now, the Shape Builder tool is still powerful. So, let's go ahead and open up another layer real quick. And we'll just pull this layer up under layer 1, alright? And with layer 1, let's just go ahead and kind of shorten it down. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hold down Shift, Alter Option, I just kind of click and just drag this down some like this. And then we're going to lock down layer one. Now on layer two, I just want to go ahead and draw out like a circle. So we just draw out a circle. 
And then with this circle, I can just go ahead and flip the field to stroke. And then we can bring up the stroke lines. I think that was like three. And I want to go ahead and put the stroke in the inside like, you know, we have here. We want consistent strokes, okay? And with this one, we want to go ahead and lock this one down. So I'm just going to go ahead and lock down layer two. And I'm going to create layer three. And now in layer three, I want to go ahead and put in lines. So I want to put a line in between every ruler. So we have the ruler up here and a ruler over here. But I want to go like maybe every other line. So this line right here that's dominant. And this line right here and this line right here. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and use the line segment tool. I'm just going to go ahead and create a line holding down shift just to make sure that this is all the way straight. And I'm going to let it go. All right. Now I'm going to take the direct selection tool and I'm going to hold down alter option. Then I'm going to click and then holding down shift. I want to go ahead and move that to the next line. So we got something a little bit like this. All right. Now this is pretty cool. This is the step and repeat. So we did a step. Now if you hold down command and you hit D, it's going to repeat for you. And then you can do it again and again and again and again and again and again. So now that we got that, I can just move these into place like this. We can do something a little bit like this. All right. And then I can also shoot them off to the side. I think this looks better off to the side like this. So here we are. We got this and this looks perfect, right? So I'm going to go ahead and unlock layer two and I'm going to go ahead and hold shift and click inside of layer two to get all of that selected. We're going to go into object path outline strokes and then we're going to take the shape builder tool and just delete out everything outside of the circle remember you have to hold down alter option to go ahead and delete everything so now that we got all of that what we can do is we can go into the pathfinder and just go ahead and unite this and it's become one solid line so that looks kind of fresh so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and make it smaller a little bit like this just to get that kind of lock up and i want to go ahead and take layer one hit command c and then on a new layer, hit command F. And basically what I did was I created a new one just so I can manipulate it. So I'm going to take layer four and I'm going to turn it off. But I'm going to turn back on layer one and I'm going to add some strokes to this. Let's say I want to give this an outside stroke of maybe seven or eight. We'll give it like eight. Then with this layer, I'm going to go ahead and go into object, path, and outline strokes. And this is what we get. And with this, what I want to do is just take the shape builder tool and just delete out the eye. Like I don't think I need the eye anymore, right? I think the trick here is you want to at least be a little careful because this does get kind of messy. Like you can mess this up. And then if you mess up, all you have to do is just hit command Z and it'll just go backwards for you. You know, this is not Photoshop where it has like limited versions of like going back. Well, I think it does, but you can set it so high that it doesn't bother your computer. Okay. So now that we have this out, this looks pretty good, by the way, we can go ahead and turn back on layer four. And this is what we get now a lot of people would have been like well why didn't you just stroke layer four because we don't want to have any white in there like yeah you probably could have used the shape bitter tool to get the white out as well but i kind of like it a little bit like this because well it looks better and okay this looks pretty good actually but i told you three tools and i only showed you like one tool and kind of like the pathfinder which is not really a tool but it kind of is but i'm gonna show you guys something different so let's kind of take this a little bit more advanced and into something different right so we're gonna come back over in here and i want to go ahead and put layer three and layer four into one layer and now with this i'm gonna go ahead and scale this down so we can scale this down like maybe here and that looks good there so I'm going to take layer two now and I want to go ahead and make another circle. So we're just going to make a circle like this. Go ahead and flip the field of strokes and then bring up the strokes to like maybe, I don't know, 16. And then I just want to go ahead and bring this into the center like this. And then with this anchor right here at the very top, I'm just going to go ahead and click, hold down alter option. And then I'm just going to bring this down like this, maybe at a four. Put it at the four, a little bit like this. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to hit command c and then command f just to paste another one in front and i just want to go ahead and kind of hold down alter option and shift and just kind of bring this in a little bit like this now the real reason why i did this is because i needed to pretty much get this shape out so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this one back into a fill but i want to keep this path right here for a rainy day so i'm just gonna go ahead and make another layer and i'm gonna take this path and put that in layer six and then lock and then close that down so we got this and this looks pretty cool, right? Not really. It's just kind of like a circle that's kind of not really a circle. It's an oval. That's cool though. I needed that. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer, but I'm going to lock this layer down real quick and I'm going to make another circle. And with this circle, I want this one to come down here about right. I know I guess where the lines kind of intersect. So about like right here. And I think that looks good about right here. I think this is the best spot to put it. 
to get this kind of little fresh shape. Now with the shape builder tool, what we can do is just go ahead and hold down alt or option and just delete out this circle right here because I don't need it, right? Like that's not what we need. But now that I have this, I want to take this one here and just go ahead and turn it white. So we'll just turn this white and I want to give this a stroke of black as well. So we'll just put in like a stroke of black like that, just a small stroke of black. And that looks good there. As a matter of fact, I could take this stroke of black and I can put it in the inside and we can make it a little bit more deeper. And that looks pretty good, right? Like that's kind of like a shape that we're not really used to seeing, but you know, it's, it's pretty cool, right? But let's go ahead and turn back on layer six real quick, click on that. And then I wanna go over here to the type tool and type on this. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the type tool and hold it down. And then I'm gonna go to type on path. I think everybody's seen me do this before, but all you need to do is just click somewhere, okay? And it gives you all of these characters just going around. Now, I wanna turn these white real quick so you guys can see what's going on here. And we're gonna type out shape builder. We can go ahead and increase this like 72. I think 72 is not enough. Let's go to 288. I think 288 is too much. So 144 would be great. And then we could just go ahead and kind of scale this back some. Now with this, we got to pick a better font. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop down the characters and pick a good font. I think Den works out. Den works out pretty well. And that looks good, but the problem here is that the actual characters are too like close. So what we want to do is just hold down alter option between them and just kind of, you know, push them out to the side. You could just use the left or right keys at this point in time. You can just hold down alter option and use the left key to pull it or the right key to push it. And okay, that looks good, right? Like I just showed you guys the Pathfinder tool. I just showed you guys the Shape Builder tool. And I just showed you guys how to type on path. That is three tools, right? But I'm going to show you guys just one more thing. Because I want to apply all of this into one actual design real quick. We're going to turn back on layer five. And of course, like you can't see it because, you know, this is black. But if I turn this into like a stroke real quick, this is what we got. And this looks pretty cool, but this is not really what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a new layer real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring in an ellipse. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this circle. So put a circle over here like this. And then with this one, we'll just go ahead and flip the strokes to fill and then we'll turn this white. Okay, so when I turn back on the black layer, this is what we got. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on white and that looks pretty good there. Now I just wanna go ahead and take layer seven real quick and I just wanna bring this anchor point up like this, just so it's kind of intersecting a little bit like that, right? And then with turning this back on, what we can do is we could just take layer five real quick and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a stroke. And I wanna give this a stroke of eight. And with that final step, with that final step and that little tweak that I just did or whatnot, that's pretty much it, you guys. So using the Shape Builder tool is an amazing tool. Like you guys have to learn how to use Shape Builder tool. Like if you're going to use Illustrator and you can't draw, Shape Builder tool is like your best friend, all right? Like I found that tool to be like the most amazing thing out there because sometimes I just can't put together drawings that well. Like sometimes my hand bumps. Nobody's hand is perfect. But if you're using Shape Builder tool, you can put together some amazing shapes that you probably could not draw out. The Pathfinder tool just kind of makes your files that, that much like easier and much more manageable. Like you don't need to be searching for all these different lines or whatnot that you just cut out. You could just go ahead and group them all together and turn it into one layer. Like that's what I like to do, you know? And then the type on path tool, like you have to make a path with whatever you want. Like use the ellipse, you can use the square, you can use the rectangle tool. But what I like to do is just take those shapes and just type on the path because that's how you get those arcs and stuff like that or that's how you get those ridges or whatnot. So that's pretty much it you guys. And I hope you guys like this. This one is like the first T-shirt Tuesday since November. So I hope you guys like this one. And if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, I do this all the time. Like this is not something new. I'm gonna be doing T-shirt Tuesday almost every Tuesday, okay? So go ahead and subscribe for it and bail me. Bail me so I know it's real. Bail me so I know what's going on. Because if I'm reaching you guys, then I'm making the community that much stronger. But with that being said, you guys, let's get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome. Meanwhile, across town, in this less than fashionable cubbyhole of the San Francisco Examiner, these editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer.